show me your muscles. Yeah, big muscles. Strike a pose for me. The winner has to give a speech. And not just any speech, but a way to thank all the people who made this evening happen, who believed in them and encouraged them. Whoa, look at that. Who taught them how to stand in a pocket, who drove them to practice, who set up with them on those stressful nights before games. So all four of these young men sat down at some point in the last few weeks and tried to come up with a list of names to thank. Maybe this is the first time they've taken a moment to consider the magic of this fall. So four young men are here tonight, and like the legends beside them once did, they all have a folded piece of paper in the pocket of those new suits. Thank you with all my heart for giving me this trophy, and to my coaches and my teammates who made it possible for me to receive. If I could dedicate this trophy to him tonight and give him a couple days of happiness, this is worth everything. I'd like to thank my family, my mother and my grandparents, I see right there. You guys made sacrifice after sacrifice just so I can chase my dreams. Soon it will be time to stand up, compose themselves, and thank the village of people who gave life to their dreams and carried them to tonight. How are you supposed to put such gratitude into words? And Wright Thompson beautifully framing the moment that's about to happen here. 24 Heisman winners feel the, the power of those words and images and memories come flooding back for them. Here from the 1950s, Paul Horning. The 1960s, Mike Garrett and Steve Spurrier. The 1970s, Johnny Rogers, Archie Griffin, Tony Dorsett, and Billy Sims. From the 80s, George Rogers, Marcus Allen, Mike Rogier, Doug Flutie, Tim Brown and Andre Ware. The 1990s, Ty Detmer, Desmond Howard, Gino Toretta, Eddie George, Danny Werfel, Charles Woodson, and Ricky Williams. From the 2000s, Eric Crouch, Troy Smith, Tim Tebow, and the 2010s, Johnny Manziel. Welcome back, fellas. And now the four finalists who we've been hearing from and about tonight. Look at those four very youthful faces at the top of the screen. <laughs> they would grow to love football and perhaps dare to dream about a moment like this for themselves. There can be only one winner each year. And now for the historic handoff, please welcome Heisman Trophy trustee, Carol Pisano. Thank you, Chris. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Without you, the fans, college football and the Heisman Trophy could not be what they are today. I'm honored to be here this evening representing the Heisman Trophy Trust on the occasion of the Heisman Trophy's 85th anniversary and the 150th anniversary of college football. Congratulations to our 2019 Heisman Trophy finalists for their incredible feats on the field this college football season. Thank you for sharing your talents with us each week. We have so enjoyed watching you and following you in this year's Heisman race. A special thank you to all of our Heisman winners for their continued support, and especially thank you to those Heisman winners who are with us tonight to help us applaud the achievements of these outstanding finalists. And now it's time to welcome a new member into our Heisman family. It is my pleasure to announce the 2019 winner and 85th recipient of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Joe Burrow, Louisiana State University. Congratulations, LSU. Go, bro. 
ton of you. Mr. Heisman, I lift here. Thank you. I think the first thing I want to say is <laughs> I want to thank my old line first. Sadiq, Adrian, Ed, Lloyd, D. Lou, Austin, Badara, Thad, our tight end with, with the chips for guys like Chase. Uh, those guys have been unbelievable this year, and I couldn't have, couldn't have done it without them. I got so many weapons on the outside, Terrace, Jamar, Justin. I mean, those guys have been unbelievable. All, all of my teammates have, have supported me, welcomed me with, with open arms. Kid from Ohio coming down to the bayou and, and welcomed me as brothers. And it's been so awesome. I want to thank the, the Heisman people for a great weekend. Thank you for, for allowing me to be here, and as well as my family. And it's, it's an honor to stand on the same stage as, as all of you guys. It's, I grew up watching most of you, and it's just an honor to be on the same stage, eat dinner with you guys. It's been so awesome, and you've all been so kind to me. My parents, the like, like Tom said, my, my dad, had, first time in 51 years that he wasn't a, a player or, or a coach, and him retiring this year has been you know, a dream come true for me and my family, uh, my brothers in the audience, my, my mom. And I'm just so thankful for for LSU and Ohio State uh, playing at two of the the best programs in the country. Great coaches, both places. It's my my journey. I wouldn't have traded it for for anything in the world. You know, I think the the story of this this Heisman Trophy with me, Justin, Jalen, and Chase. We have three transfers who who've all had different stories. Uh, three great players and. You know, both of those guys have, have pushed through adversity. It's awesome hearing their stories and, and sharing this this weekend with them. I just I tried to leave a legacy of hard work and, and preparation and loyalty and dedication everywhere I go. And I, I'm, I'm surrounded by such great people that make that so, so easy. Great strength coaches. Coach Mick is in the audience, my strength coach from, from Ohio State, and, and Coach Moffitt is, is watching from home, and they've made me a great person and, and a great player and, and so much better because of them. Coming from, from Southeast Ohio, it's, it's a very, very impoverished area and 
the, the, the poverty rate is almost two times the, the national average, and there's so many people there that, that don't have a lot. And I'm up here for all those, all those kids in Athens and in Athens County that, you know, go home to not a lot of food on the table, hungry after school. And you guys can be up here too. I'd like to thank. Louisiana, the entire state. Like I said earlier, just, just a kid from Ohio coming down, chasing a dream. And the entire state has welcomed me and my family with, with open arms and, and invited us in to, to be native Louisianians. I've, I've learned to, to love crawfish and gumbo. And you know, during crawfish, during crawfish season, we Coach O makes sure we, got, we have pounds and pounds and pounds of crawfish during that year. Um, Coach O. You have no idea what you mean to my family. You know, I didn't play for three years. You took a chance on me, not knowing if I could play or not. And I'm forever in your, forever grateful for you. Can you imagine a guy like Coach O giving me the keys to to his football program. <laughs> he just means so much to me and my family. <sighs> and to LSU, I sure hope they give him a lifetime contract. He deserves it. <laughs> and then, and Coach Joe, Coach Steve, Coach Munoz, all here. You know, you guys have helped me so through so much, understanding the game, putting so much on my plate that I couldn't couldn't ask for a better group of coaches. Help me be successful. So thank you to everyone, everyone here. I've there's so many people that that I should thank, and I, I, unfortunately I just don't have the time. But those people know what they mean to me and my family, and. So when I when I lift this trophy again, it's for LSU, Ohio State, Southeast Ohio, and and all of Louisiana. Thank you. You got good. You got good. Great job. Good job. Maybe that hug says everything. The pauses spoke as loudly as anything else. Thank you so much. What did the moment mean, Jimmy? My dime, Just to see Joe and his emotion and his sincerity, uh, his appreciation of, of Coach O and LSU and, and uh, all his teammates. That, that just means the world because he wouldn't be up here with, without those guys. And uh, uh, it's, it's just awesome to be a part of it. To sit back, see your son walk up there and handle this moment, what does a mom's pride say? <laughs> There's, there are no words. It's, it's amazing. We're so proud of him. We're so thankful to Coach O, Coach E, Coach Joe, all of LSU, all of Ohio State, really, because they all put so much time and energy into Joe's development. And um, we're so thankful for Joe, his opportunity, and his teammates. Congratulations to you and the whole family on a spectacular night. Thank you. Maria. Thanks, Tom. As we take a look at our final votes based on the information provided by Deloitte, Joe Burrow has received a lot of broken records in Heisman voting.
For the highest percentage of possible points, <laughs> Joe Burrow received 93.8%, which breaks the record held by Troy Smith, who received 91.6%. All right. Burrow also received the highest percentage of first place votes won. With 90.7% of the first place votes, he breaks the record held by Troy Smith, who received 86.7%. Burrow was named on 95.47% of the total ballots, the highest ever, surpassing Marcus Mariota, who received 95.16%. And Burrow received 1,846 more points than runner-up Jalen Hurts. That's the largest margin of victory in Heisman history. He was also winner of the Nissan Heisman, Nissan Heisman fan vote. Chris? Maria, thank you. Folks getting to know Joe, thank you so much for your example. Thank you for sharing your heart and your story, and, and thank to all the finalists for sharing their stories and the example they have set. It's been a tremendous, tremendous evening. Top Rank Boxing is coming up next. This Heisman Trophy, for the first time in 60 years, is headed back to the state of Louisiana. So, let's get a bon tom roulet, as they say down there on the bayou. We'll see all four of the finalists of the college football playoff, which begins two weeks from tonight. City, 85th Heisman Trophy winner.